Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. Today, back into the big one, Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is our Let's Play by email against the devilish Mr. Ludrick, and we are going to see the combat resolution for February 19th and February 20th of 1942, playing two-day turns, so we get to see them both. What a treat! Uh, we what are we looking for this time? Well, we're going to see uh, what his carrier group out on the southern tip of India is up to. Will it try to return to Bombay? I'm not sure why he would move away and then come back, but it's possible. Uh, will he kind of sweep through Colombo, kind of give it a parting kiss as he heads back to Singapore? Or otherwise, hell, I don't know. He surprised me the first time. Maybe he's going to do something I never even dreamed of. Uh, I guess he could come towards Madras or Calcutta. Uh, we shall see. Meanwhile, he continues to land on Java. He is landing at Papua New Guinea. Uh, big Papua New Guinea. Um... So, I mean, he's going to continue that. He's going to continue his expansion in the Philippines to get all of those bases. We really don't have a, any kind of defense left there that has any supply. And then, of course, we'll get bombed in China. You know that. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what the devilish man we call Lodrick had in store for us this time. Should be an interesting turn, obviously. A lot's going on around the map. I've never had such a busy game. So uh, that's a good thing. That's what I wanted. And we've got ourselves an aggressive Japanese player to be certain. All right. Uh, looks like he's expanding out there. Took a base in the Philippines. Landing potentially more troops there in Papua New Guinea. Bonjour Mason. Uh, we still do have a base force there in Borneo, but uh, I mean, it's it's not got any strength at all. If he brought anything there, he should be able to kick us out of Bonjour Mason. Uh, we've got escorts merging with our cargo, our task forces coming into Perth. It's a dark night over the Pacific. Moonlight is only 14%. That's when you know you're playing a great game, when they tell you the moonlight percentage. It is not a night for lovers. Okay, uh, looks like he is going to do this bombardment of Port Moresby. Now, we have got plane... Did I take these off here? I just can't remember at this point uh, whether I've gotten all the planes out of here. So he's got two battleships up here. He's got six destroyers. We take 24 casualties on the ground. Okay. Uh, six air base hits. Oh, that's right. We talked about this last time because I, I'm kind of, I, you know, I don't want to say I'm indifferent. I, I would rather we still control the base. I would rather he not destroy it while I'm in it other than uh, it's eventually going to be his base. So, I mean, feel free uh, if he wants to just wreck this base. Now, what he's trying to do is make sure we can't bring any more aircraft over there. Um to, you know, attack his carriers potentially or something like that. So he just want, he wants to wreck the runway. I completely understand why he's doing it. Uh, but by the same token, it, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not great for us, uh, for the guys that are on the ground. But in the overall scheme of things, if he destroys this airfield and destroys the port, uh, that's okay. Uh, because he's going to take it. Okay, uh, we've got the Grayling down here, SS Grayling with Mark 14 torpedoes. Well, it looks like maybe he found us because I see destroyers there. Uh, now, we do not get hit. Okay, so if you look at this, he's got two light cruisers and five destroyers. Up here in the Bombardment Task Force, he had two battleships and six destroyers. So he is not playing around with any of our sub activities. He's got a lot of destroyers out here. Um, nothing happened really here. Nobody got hit by anything anyway. Uh, it looked like a bunch of sound and fury, but uh, in the end, nobody was damaged. Okay, he's going to bombard Port Moresby again. Okay, and this time two battleships, two light cruisers is what we see in the actual bombardment group. Now, we saw a bunch of destroyers there before, but maybe they already uh, unloaded their, their guns. They don't have any more ammo, or maybe they just couldn't even... It, it's so packed out here, they couldn't even get up there to bombard. Um, he actually... 
Now this is interesting. Pre oh, it's pre-invasion, uh, which is a little bit different than straight-up bombardment. Um, okay, so he took 21 casualties as he's starting to unload on the beaches of Port Moresby. We took 106 casualties uh, from the guns and otherwise. Yeah, and now he's unloading. So when you see the pre-invasion bombardment, uh, you know that he's landing troops. And here we go, 35 casualties as he's getting onto the beaches of Moresby. So he's lost a, a few troops, you know, landing there. All right, it's just going through the phases here. You saw different things that we were uh, sighting with our planes, and now he's going to do some more pre-invasion bombardment as the con troops continue. Uh, now it's called invasion support, right? You've seen three different indications here. One was bombardment, one was pre-invasion. Now it's invasion support because uh, he's got troops on the ground. We had 21 go coastal guns here, uh, but they do no good, really. And we get 37 casualties there from his uh, invasion support. All right, uh, the SS Pollock is out here. Ooh, he's got a cargo ship in his sights. Can we do it? No! Oh, man. Uh, we launched two torpedoes that don't hit. And, uh, you know, every time that he finds something of ours with one of his subs, of course it hits uh, because, well, the Japanese torpedoes and submariners at this point in the war are just better. Uh, you know, the SS Pollock, we get two torpedoes off. It's a slow cargo ship. I, ass I assume it's slow. Uh, and we don't hit it. Meanwhile, we come down here uh, to a Japanese sub. And we actually spotted that ASW attack. The Vendetta got on top of it there. Uh, we sighted it, uh, but we did no damage to him there. Got some merging up here by New Zealand. We haven't talked a lot about New Zealand. We really should. I use it as my big base of operations. All right, fighter bombers down there by Colombo. We just sighted them. Um, and so his his... Carrier Task Force seems to be moving right back through this area as we continue to sight Japanese planes all over the place down here. We, it said something was destroyed by CAP. Uh, I'm not sure if that was our CAP or, well, I guess it would have had to be, right? Uh, well, no, that's not true. He could have his fighters off of carriers running you know, cap missions. So it's possible we had a recon plane that was hit or he had a recon plane that was hit. I just didn't catch, catch that message. Um, yeah, I'm not saying we've gone through too many now. And there you just saw his task force. So he is coming in on Colombo now. Uh, well, we've got planes there at least and we'll try to put up a fight. Now he has much better planes, much better pilots and many more of them. Uh, but he also can't stay out here very long. Okay, uh, he is now sweeping Rangoon, and this should be a hell of a battle because we've got Hurricane 2B Trops out here. These guys are flying either at 20,000 or 25,000 feet. Uh, we've got two Flying Tigers up in the air. He's got 45 zeros coming in. Uh, man, I would love to watch that air-to-air -air battle. What That, that would have been spectacular. Look at that. We destroy five zeros. It's about time. It's about time we just had a good result. You know, dice roll, whatever you want to call it. We got a really good result here. Hurricane 2B Trops, we lost two, but he lost five zeros. You know, certainly we'll take that every time. It's much improved, and a big part of that are, is that these British pilots that come in with these 2B Trops are good pilots, and this is a good plane that you can fly up at a high altitude. So we're probably coming above him. Okay, uh, Colombo, here he comes, uh, 18 zeros. Now, these are two A trops, okay? So over in Rangoon, we saw our two B trops. As you may imagine, the two Bs are a little bit better than the two As. We'll see if we can fight off these zeros there, okay? He sweeps up over the town. We did. We destroyed two zeros there. 
and we had one of our uh, two A traps destroyed. So again, we get two to one or better uh, for two battles here, air battles. Uh, that has been few and far between for us. All right, we got 15 2B traps up in the air against these 40 Oscars. Let's see what kind of what we can do here. Oscar sweep Rangoon. We destroy four of them here, and we only take one loss on our 2B traps. Great, great turn for us so far in air-to-air -air combat. 10 Oscars over Hang Yang. Just going to sweep over there, see if we have any cap. Hey, he's going to keep doing it. Here come the Oscars again. Uh, he will probably turn these sweeps off this next turn, I have a feeling. Now, we only got five planes up in the air. I think he was bringing, I didn't see the exact number, 42. Okay, well, we destroyed two of them and took no losses ourselves. And now you see it's so important when you get these planes. It actually gives you a fighting chance. Before the 2B trop, well, the 2A and the 2B trop, you just you don't have a plane that can compete with the Japanese or pilots for that matter. Uh, uh, now we do. Now we do. All right, he's bombing this group that's isolated down here southeast of Nanyang. Uh, you know, not a whole lot we can do about that. We damage two planes, 156 casualties on the ground, 19 Marys coming in, 12 casualties reported on the ground. We'll take that for a big bombing run. He's got about 80 bombers coming in here. Uh, we damaged three of them. We took 146 casualties. Same isolated group up here, Sinyang, Nanyang. It's just trapped out here. We talked about that in the setup. Uh, 12 allied casualties. 12 more bombers. Uh, one damage plane, 42 casualties. 29 more bombers in on that group. Two damage planes, 48 casualties. Just, you know, relentless. Uh, here he's got about 55 bombers in on one of these groups trying to get back to Hen Yang. Uh, we did destroy one by flak. We damaged a plane, or at least one was damaged. I don't know if we did it or it was just an operational problem. Who knows? Uh, 61 casualties reported. Now he's sweeping directly over Hen Yang with a few Oscars. Okay, I think we could give him the shock of a lifetime if we ever put any fighters over in China. If Rangoon falls, we may do that. Uh, 13 Sonyas coming in here on this group that's also... To, everybody's trying to get back to Hen Yang. Uh, you know, obviously the beacon went out. Everybody meet at Hen Yang, and that's where they're all heading. One damage Sonyas, 17 casualties. All right, this isolated stack once again takes the brunt of his bombing. No Japanese, uh, no damage or anything. Six casualties on our side. Now, this is us. Uh... <laughs> well, this didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I put a few Hudsons and Blenheims over here. Um, I, I, when I say over here, they're actually up here at Rangoon. And I put them on ground attack, uh, trying to catch something here or something moving towards Mole Mine. Well, they end up all the way down in Bangkok, one night in Bangkok. Uh, and you can see we get two Blenheims uh, destroyed and two damage, and we only cause 12 casualties. Well, let's hope that that doesn't happen on day two again. Uh, I'd, ra I'd really rather not run bombing missions like that. I was hoping that I would catch him without many fighters. Now, one of the things you may have seen there uh, that popped up is we actually did catch him in a training mission. So he was training fighters down there. All of a sudden, they're like, wait a minute, are those allied bombers? Uh, they turned then and, and uh, you know, ended up destroying two of them. Uh, this is the fortresses again that I've just got you know, kind of trying to hit something over here. Uh, they end up getting damaged. All three B-17s damaged. I may call this one off too. It's really not paying any results whatsoever. And we're going to end up losing a plane or two that we don't need to lose. Uh, you know, we're dropping on the port at Lay. Four 500-pound bombs. We're nowhere close. Evidently, we caused no damage. Um, and then I've got some fortresses running over here to Bali Poppin. Again, in some ways, these are just feints. I just want him to think, hmm, 
I wonder what is, you know, what's going on. I wonder what he's got here. Uh, we're not suffering any casualties, you know, really. We haven't lost any planes for the most part on those, except for the ones out of Rangoon there this time. Uh, so I, I think I'll call that off. As you can see, uh, we had a lot of, or I say a lot, we had three destroyers that were coming into Colombo. I'm trying to get them out. Now, they were out here, and when I saw his carrier group, I said, whoop, let's get back to Colombo. Uh, I probably could have just ran them off map, but uh, as it was, you know what? They were actually down here. They were coming from the Dutch East Indies. Uh, I was afraid he was going to come down here and, ca you know, catch them. And I didn't really know where to go with them, so I went to the nearest port, which is Colombo. As it is, the Everton takes three bomb hits. The Wit DeWith takes one. They both have heavy damage. Okay, it's really the only ships that we have out here. Now, we're getting two A trops up again. Now, he you can see the formation he's running. These are his carriers. These are probably his, you know, escorts, destroyers, potentially battleships uh, in these other two. But you can see, whoop, the Death Star coming after us. We did get two A-trops up, but, I mean, look at the number of uh, planes he's bringing here. And he may finish off these destroyers. Let's see. So we get six trops up against 30 zeros, all right? And then he had 26 Kates, which are his bombers. Um... We took no losses, we destroyed a zero, and we damaged a Kate. Hey, I'll take that, actually. Uh, and the two destroyers that were hit before. Now, these are Dutch destroyers. I think they're worth, like, four points. It's not the end of the world if we lose them. Of course, I would prefer we don't, but, uh, you know, I tried to get him in there before he got there. I actually expected him to stay at Colombo for an extra turn or so, and they just didn't make it, unfortunately. Or it doesn't look like they did. We haven't we haven't gotten notification that they've sunk yet. Uh, the zeros in. Uh, we did get some traps up in the air, so this is more of a sweep. I don't see any bombers about. Uh, I guess he's just trying to get our cap up. Now he finally gets the better of us in the air this time. Uh, no Japanese losses. We lose two uh, two A traps. Okay, so the D.D. Hughes and the D.D. Anderson have sunk, uh, and the Van Ghent is in trouble. So we've lost a few destroyers here. We're seeing submarine activities south of Perth. Now, our planes were sighting more things, and now he's going to bomb the one base we have over here left. So he's taken these other three. Uh, he's going to attack into this hex. There were thunderstorms, and we only took six casualties there. They're having a hard time controlling the flooding upon the destroyer Van Gent. Uh, the Mariposa I took into Rorotonga, tried to get it there. Um, oh, you can see our coastal guns are firing back. You saw a splash out here. Damn, it'd be nice to hit a battleship, but we do not. Uh, 23 coastal guns fired in defense, so he's doing invasion support. We're firing defensive guns, uh, but nothing really happens. Sorry if you heard that. There's a big lawnmower that started up outside the door. Land move attack phase. Okay, uh, this is that isolated group out here. They likely all will surrender. Nope, they're all retreating. I'm actually quite surprised uh, that they didn't just throw up their hands. They're all trying to get back to Ai Chang. 
Uh, oh, they hopped the river. All right, guys. Uh, cool. Fine. Well, I mean, if we can get them back there, let's do it. We do lose 5,100 men. You saw that they have no combat value at all. I mean, these guys are as disorganized as it gets at this point. It's every man for himself, back to Ai Chang. Very surprised they didn't surrender. Okay, he's attacking here at the center of the island at Malabele. Easy for me to say. Malay Bele. Sure. Okay. Uh, this is Kagayan. This is where we've got everything left on Mindanao. Uh, you know, I mean, we didn't have anything at this base, so he just takes it. Now, Bonjour Mason, that's down here in southern Borneo. He's going to try to take this base, and he does. We didn't, you know, we had a base force, and we had a little Koi regiment out here, I believe. Um, he had 1,700 troops. We have 739 wasn't terrible uh he took 162 casualties we took 511 now we up oh, we're bombarding at ambon again he still doesn't have enough troops out here to mount any kind of offensive so we're just lobbing shells at him still and who knows maybe we disrupted those troops a little bit disorganized uh, caused disorganization uh ground co combat at port moresby oh interesting we're bombarding him. Same idea what's going on at Ambon. He's landed on the beach. Uh, we're going to lob some uh, artillery out there if we can. Now, we had five guys uh, that got casualtied. I uh, assume a gun backfired or something and, and uh, hurt some of our own guys. All right. Now we go into the fortification buildup. Uh, that's, I've never, well, I can't say I've never seen that, but, uh, it's not often you see three massive Japanese task forces right off the southern tip of India, uh, do, 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 the rising sun. All in all, that was a decent day for us uh, in the air, air-to-air -air combat, certainly. Uh, we did take some heavy losses on the ground from that isolated Chinese unit, uh, or stack, I should say stack. It's multiple units. Um, so, I mean, we took heavy ground losses there. I mean, it's 5,000 men. But, you know, in China, you, you get big losses like that, especially if you get trapped behind his lines. I mean, we could play a little more partisan, and I mean, I've done that before, but I've never seen a player quite as aggressive uh, as Lodric is in China, and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to counter it. Um, we can't allow him to advance up onto the plateau in China uh, before we start getting just our mass of new uh, Chinese cores, uh, which all happens during March and April. I mean, you just keep getting Chinese cores up here chunking. We just got one. You just saw it. Um, and he's advancing so fast that, you know, I'm trying to get everybody back to the lines to just throw up a defense and slow him down. But I think maybe the better option would be to take a lot of these uh, units that are trapped or behind lines and whatnot and just run them around and try to screw around with his supply lines. Um, I, I think that might be the best way to go about it. All right, we're on to February 20th now, day two of our turn. Yeah, we still have a destroyer out here, a uh, couple of them. Okay, and now he's got his battleships, and I think these are his. Yeah, Greetings, are everybody. Up. House tricks. Yeah, and he got this both is of Orphan those Anne so from Radio Tokyo saying hello to all of her dog faces uh, and boneheads wandering the Pacific the Islands. Force, the Before we start the, the music, destroyers. the That's Japanese High Command like announced today that. Forces. The Imperial uh, okay, Navy has achieved another great victory here. near Colombo, with the sinking of two carriers, a battleship, and numerous cruisers nothing. and destroyers. This is not really what you want your submarines up against. That's a lot of ASW there. Okay, he's about to land in Dobo. 
Dobo. Okay, he's going to get on the beach here, unloading over the beach. So he's, I mean, look how close that is to Darwin. He's extending down here before he takes Java. Uh, probably smart on his part. Uh, he's going to eventually take Java. You may as well extend out here. I can't do much about it. We just don't have a whole lot uh, up in that area. Darwin up to Java, we just don't have a whole lot. So not to counter an invasion. Uh, if I did have some surface ships at Darwin, we could run up there and try to fight. Uh, but we don't. I've gone and hid those uh, because he's hurt us so badly in other places. Uh, I mainly got them around the western edge of Australia. All right, we're spotting all of his ships here. Uh, and now he's going to have his carrier ships come back at us here. At Colombo, he's going to sweep, and I assume bomb, or try to bomb. Uh, 14 zeros here. We had two A-trops. We had two of them up. He loses no zeros. We lose one trop. So he's starting to get better results here later in the turn. He sweeps over Colombo again with 14 uh, zeros, but the, he, he finds nothing. I think our cap's pretty exhausted at this point, uh, and he's got a lot more planes than we do. Oscar, 10 of those over Heng Yang. Now he's bombing just east of Yan'an. That stack, I've got one going east. I've got one going west. Split up, guys, and we'll meet in the middle. Uh, one damage Sally. We take five casualties on the ground. Uh, now, this is one of the two stacks that are still down here in southeastern China. Uh, he comes in with about 60 bombers. He gets three of them damaged. He causes 67 casualties. Now, the Sally's 16 casualties on the ground. Now, the Ands. It's, uh, it's like a whole black book out here. Uh, nothing going on on the ground or in the air there. Well, they dropped some bombs, but they didn't hit anything that we know about. Two Oscars over Heng Yang for a sweep. Now he's bombing just west of Yan'an uh, for that stack. Okay, we damage five planes. This stack always damages a lot of planes, or at least a lot of planes get damaged bombing it. How about that? 47 casualties. Now this is a huge bombing force. Uh, he ends up getting six damaged planes that we know about. We take 130 casualties. Now the Sonyas. Now this is a group that did get out of here, across the river anyway, and now trying to get up to Heng Yang. Ten casualties on the ground, one damaged plane. Now he's going to bomb the other group we have in southeastern China, because why not? Uh, he, he is a bombardier, indeed. Uh, nothing happening there. Semarang, he's now going to fly uh, some zeros over the top here, uh, just to do a sweep, and he does pull up our cap. Let's see if we can f do anything against these guys. I mean, these are bad pilots, not very good planes. Um, he's going to get us on the way out too. This is a bomber actually. It was, okay, the, let me back up for a second because what I thought I saw there, I did not see. We're trying to bomb Semarang. He has now got zeros in the area. So this is his base. He's not running a sweep over it. Instead, I sent three Falcons, I say I did, the AI did, uh, in escort of 15 139 WHs for a bombing run. We end up with uh, most of those 139 WH is getting destroyed. No surprise there. Now, the thing is, you may as well try stuff like this because ultimately you're going to lose all of these planes anyway. So what I was hoping is I could get a few hits into Simmering, and we have. We have bombed there a couple of times, but now he's got zeros in the area, and uh, this isn't going to work anymore. The Falcons tried to run some kind of escort. Two of the three got destroyed. We only caused 36 casualties on the ground. And now we're coming in for a second bite at the apple. No! Turn around! You wonder if the other guys flying back said, I wouldn't do it, guys. Uh, CW-22 Falcons. I really wish they would have gone with the first group uh, to escort them, but it didn't matter. I mean, they're so outclassed here. Six uh, Dutch fighters destroyed there. And then we have more bombers coming in. Oh, boy. It's a turkey shoot. 
So what was looking really good, nobody lost any planes there. We must have bugged out. Uh, what was looking like a really good turn for us uh, in the air is uh, slowly here getting whittled away. Now we've got Hudson's coming in here at Bangkok, and he got some Nates up in the air. Now I think these guys were, wow, this thing's just, what a dogfight this must be. I, I'm hitting escape. Uh, okay, well, the Hudson's finally made it through there. Holy mackerel. That was not good for us. Hudson 2A's three destroyed and four damage. Uh, we only caused three casualties on the ground in partial cloudy weather. That's you know, We've got guys, you know, running bombing aircraft that aren't very good at bombing. Uh, and it looks like we've led these guys lambs to slaughter here. Four Blenheims make it through. Uh, to only, you know, two damage, that's acceptable. Uh, they'll get repaired so we don't lose any. Uh, five casualties reported on the ground. You can see the difference between our, our bombers and his. Now we've got our B-17s flying over here trying to hit a port. They've got no chance of hitting. Uh, two damaged planes. I mean, you know, they, it takes a, takes a week or half a week for those to repair. So it's not a big deal when you see damage unless it turns into an operational loss. Uh, we're seeing quite a few ships out by Calcutta. Uh, I haven't really gotten an indication of what all that might be. Man, there's been a lot that's happened this turn. We're seeing some ships potentially down the western coast of Australia. We'll have to be really careful with that. Okay, here comes Zeros in on Rangoon once more for a sweep. Uh, we get a number of Hurricane 2B trops up. We'll see uh, how this battle turned out. Looks like we destroy one zero and we get one 2B trop destroyed. All right, well, he can do this. He can play the attrition game. The thing is, he can't afford to lose a vast number of pilots because he just doesn't have that many uh, good pilots and eventually he'll run out of them if we can you know, continue to go mano a mano with him in the air. Now, that's a really open question. Nobody loses anything here. We only got two planes up. Our, our cap has got to be exhausted over here. 34 Oscars were in on that group. Now he's going to come bomb, bomb Colombo. Looks like we get no cap up in the air. But you can see all of our anti-aircraft guns. Oh, look at this. This is a little... Well, I guess it depends. Eight Kates damaged. Five Vowels damaged. One vowel destroyed by Flack, but he did hit the Prince of Wales. Now, we've talked about the Prince of Wales before. This is sitting in the shipyard. He got a hit on it. Uh, it just says it's on fire, though. It doesn't say heavy damage. If we can get the fire put out, it'll be okay. Now, this was never going to be an operational ship again. Last I checked, I think it said 880 days to repair so, I mean, I guess I'll see in early 1945 if he wouldn't have gotten hit again. But uh, he it is, it is on fire. We did take eight casualties. Uh, we damaged a lot of planes. We only destroyed one that we know of. Now he's coming in on Moresby uh, with 180 bombers. Holy mackerel. All right, you see all of our AA going up there. We damage 10 planes. We destroy one by flak, but he does hit the air base, but not really that hard, to be honest with you. But the runway hits are really starting to stack up now. We'll look at that during the setup phase next time and talk a little bit about runway damage and whatnot, since he seems to be trying to do quite a bit of that. More bombing in China, uh, one damaged plane, five casualties reported, and more bombing in China just south of Hanyang. 32 casualties, one damaged plane. Whew, man. So much action, I said holy mackerel twice. Now three times. He's coming back for more. We'll see if we even have any. Yeah, we don't even put any planes up in the air. These guys are completely exhausted at this point, and that could start to be a problem uh, because it's, you know, replacement pilots are hard to get in there. Um, and so, I mean, it, if they get too much fatigue, they're going to do much, much worse, obviously. 
All right, we got some of our planes flying around and and uh, grouping together. Now he's unloading just to the north of Van Bon in Namlia. We don't have anything there, so you should easily take that. We're going to get any ground combat. We always do. We get a little something. Allied bombardment again, so again, artillery. Uh, but we, you know, we don't cause any casualties that we know of. Oh, he's going to, nope, this is us bombarding him out on the beach. You can see he's got four marine type units out here. Uh, you can see we, we're not that strong at Moresby. This has been whittled down quite a bit from supply problems. They weren't that strong to begin with. Um, ground combat near Moresby, allied bombardment attacks. So we're shooting some artillery at him and we cause 190 casualties. That's just about going to do it. We're going to see the expansions of Seattle is now a level 7 port. Uh, we're upping the fortifications up and down the coast of Australia. We'll see what arrives here at the end of the turn that we can play with next turn. Eventually, eventually we'll get there. So many phases. End of day. Replacing everything. This was a really interesting turn. I mean, there was just an, a gobs of action. A lot of air-to-air -air action as the game is really heating up. And, and at least now we can kind of do something about it. Um, you know, we've got a, some better British pilots, better British planes, at least over at Colombo, Rangoon. Uh, the Americans still aren't there yet. We're going to hope we don't get in too many air battles with the Japanese as the Americans. But the Brits brought in some really nice pilots and planes. So uh, at this point, we at least have a fighting chance when he comes up over Rangoon and Colombo anyway. Uh, other than that, we took a heavy loss on the ground in China. Uh, but nothing too major. He's landing in several places, and Moresby soon will have the big battle of Port Moresby in the next few turns. As he's now bombarded that, he's bombed it. Uh, there, you know, that base must be a smoldering uh, cauldron in there. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me. When we come back, we'll be setting up for February 21st, 1942, as we continue on in our battle with the devilish Mr. Laudrick. Thanks again. Strategy Gaming Dojo. I'll talk to you next time.